Hi, my name is Ezio Adatore da Firenze, and I am a photojournalist. The year is 1944, and I have finally compiled my report on the effects of the Great Depression and the New Deal on farmers in the United States. Here we can see an operated farm in the year 1928, one year before the Great Depression. Things were simple, and life was a regular routine. The Great Depression hit the farmers hard in the early 1930s. Prices for their crops dropped so low that they struggled to pay for their farms. To try to solve this, they grew even more to make up for the losses. This made matters worse. The situation became unbearable when an ongoing event called the Dust Bowl hit. This was a period when severe dust storms were occurring on most American prairie lands. Of course, this meant that there would be no hope for farmers at all now that they couldn't even harvest or grow their now low-priced crops. It was the year 1933 when Franklin Delano Roosevelt took office. Everyone seemed to know that things could only get better, as the current situation really seemed to be the lowest possible. Roosevelt announced an economic program that he believed would work to turn the economy around. It was called the New Deal, and it was aimed to help farmers as well. The New Deal helped farmers in several ways. First, there was the Agricultural Adjustment Act, which created the Agricultural Adjustment Administration. The act reflected the demands of leaders of major farm organizations, especially the Farm Bureau, and reflected debates among Roosevelt's farm advisors. This then led to domestic allotment, where farmers all decided together to limit for each type of crop. This would prevent overproduction. Many people lived in severe poverty, especially in the South. Major programs addressed to their needs, including the Resettlement Administration, the Farm Security Administration, the Rural Electrification Administration, the Tennessee Valley Authority, and rural welfare projects sponsored by the WPA, NYA, Forest Service, and CCC, including school lunches, building new schools, opening roads in remote areas, reforestation, and purchase of marginal lands to enlarge national forests. It was not long before farmers could once again happily work their fields. With all of the programs that help repair the Dust Bowl damage and programs to make their crops valuable once more, farmers were able to be one of the first social groups to actually feel a turnaround in the economy. The Great Depression was a miserable time for almost everyone, especially farmers, but the New Deal and many other smaller scale efforts that we all come together in times of need to provide show us that we can get through events such as this and come out often stronger.